In this video I build a giant beacon in Minecraft Hardcore. So this is a normal Minecraft beacon, but what if I build a giant beacon many times bigger than this? That is the project on my hand right now. First we need all of the iron blocks, which lucky for me I have already done. In my last hardcore video I built an overpowered iron farm producing me around 35,000 iron per hour. This was all to get more than 100,000 iron blocks which would be used to build the biggest beacon in Minecraft hardcore. And now I had all of the iron blocks I needed, now it was just a matter of finding the place to build this beacon. Now I'm using this area to build the giant beacon, as you can see there are too many trees. So I will get some flint and steel, start burning it all down. Oh, burning spider. That is a good bit of this forest already gone. And now let's try to mark out how big I want this beacon to be. That needs to be 90 by 90. I think we're just gonna start right here. This is now the area marked out. So I don't think this actually looks too big. I'm gonna see once I flatten all of it if we're gonna make it bigger, etc. This is still gonna take some time. Completely flatten out. Let's start doing this. Ah. base here is quite massive, but I've decided to make a little change. Instead of having each iron block be worth 10 blocks, I'm gonna do it one chunk at a time, so 16 blocks in total. Which means one block will be this tall. That's right, I'm not building the beacon like a normal beacon. I'm scaling everything up so it looks like a normal beacon, just way bigger. By pressing F3G, I can find the chunk borders. I feel like this is the easiest way to do this. So I think I'm gonna bring it all the way out to here. And now we just gotta go nine chunks in this direction. We have this size now, so I need to remove a lot more mountains over here especially. Fill in a lot more area, so I guess I gotta keep on working. Now with this huge space, we're about ready to build my beacon. Wait, I still have this small thing I have to remove? Are you joking me? But this shouldn't take too long. Now this entire area is cleared out, now we just gotta start building the beacon. Let's see how we build this. So each iron block will be 16 by 16 by 16. So let's get the chunk borders. So this wide and now 16 up. So that is one giant iron block. But what this thing really needs is some different textures because right now it's just only iron blocks. We need something in the corners. It's very characterized by the iron block, it has this grey Border. What block that I have a lot of already fits with this? Stone. But not this one, it's gotta be smooth stone. I crafted some furnaces, mined some coal ore, and smelted the stone into smooth stone. Then I reworked my first iron block and it worked better now. Just imagine this entire beacon shooting up into the sky, it's gonna be absolutely giant. All I could do now was work on my beacon. The way to save a lot of time and resources was to only build the visible part of the beacon. If I filled every block with all the iron, I would need more than 6 million iron ingots. So I've worked on this on a couple of hours and this is the progression. Just look at the size. But my big issue now is I've run out of smooth stone. I still have many blocks of iron, but I need to get some fuel so that I can actually smell it all. I ran out of fuel. I have a little, but uh, yeah, I need more coal. And that ties perfectly into my wither skeleton farm because I get fuel there and I also get wither skeleton skulls because I need to put beacons on top of this. Since you know it is a giant beacon, I guess my next step is farming many, many wither skeleton skulls. What I first want to make is a little storage for this wither skeleton farm. We're just gonna do a little replay of this and there we go. So now I have a good storage system in place. I'm gonna AFK for a couple of hours. See how much wither skeleton skulls we get. Now you might wonder how many wither skeleton skulls I have. So we have more than three stacks in here. Which means a stack of nether stars. Is this gonna be enough? I don't know. This is why I have a lot more skulls in here. But the most crucial thing about this is all of the coal. Let us go home. Whoa, this is gonna look so awesome. I can just see it and it looks so good. And of course, we're gonna kill all these wither throughout the video and I'll be fighting 10 at the same time later. I'll just fill all of these up with a stack of coal. Let's get more smooth stone. Now we're about ready to keep on working. <laughs> Doesn't this just look absolutely epic? Can't imagine how it will look once I have all of the different layers. Of course, the beacon at the top with so many beacons on it. I have no idea how many beacons I'm putting on the top. Now it's time for the second layer. View the time lapse. That 
that is the second layer now done for the third layer i'm just gonna do some editing magic three two one go now we got three layers for the beacon we have to do one final layer then do the beacon i hope this won't take too long of course first we add all of the smooth stone it's been a long work in process but the beacon is now done. Holy smokes, it's beautiful. <laughs> what the hell? You got the zoomies. It's probably gonna be so many monsters down here. I think I'm gonna take this beacon, which we're gonna use to build my big beacon. Let us collect all of the items we need. We definitely need glass. I think I'm gonna grab a shulker box full of glass. I'll grab some obsidian. Then to build all of this, I think I can use some frog light. I think honestly also the blocks of diamond. Not too much, just a little bit here in the corners. I think I need some blue concrete powder, some light blue concrete powder. But let's just try and do this. I think it's easier once we start building. I love that I can see this from my base. First things first, we need all of the glass. Now, how does this beacon look like? There's gotta be a space between this and the obsidian, but it goes all the way around. Three up, where the diamond block to each Honor, thinking some light blue concrete powder. So I don't really think the blue concrete works with this. I need it to be cyan. I pretty much don't have any cactus. I guess I'm making a small cactus farm. That is pretty much the cactus farm. I don't have enough cactus to actually fill it up. Here we go, now we got the storage and we just need to get some cactus now growing. All right, let's get to smelting. Bang, pow, wah, beep, dow. Make some cyan dye and some cyan concrete powder. I think this matches way better. Yeah, it's so much better already. Now we just gotta copy all of these pixels. And this of course will be the center of the beacon. And at the top, we just add the diamond blocks. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. And now we just gotta copy this all the way around. While I was building the beacon, this happened. I <laughs> Let's do with Creeper. That's another Creeper. What is happening? Get away from me, Creepers. Now we did this part of the beacon. Now we just gotta place in the beacons here at the top. That's gonna be a lot more tricky. What I'm gonna need are blocks of iron that I place right here. So I would place all the beacons in this place. But I don't think that will be possible because it needs, you know, three iron blocks in all directions. I think we just gotta place the beacons in this way. We need a total of one, two, three, four, five, 36 beacons for one beacon, which I honestly thought would be a lot bigger but this beacon isn't the largest grab all my wither skeleton skulls and now we gotta kill 35 withers which i definitely have enough skulls for let's grab some so sand and in the end we're gonna kill 25 withers we're just gonna cheese most of them one two three four and let's do the final wither with this strategy boom that is 25 wither stars now to kill 10 withers at the same time i need to use a strategy from a fellow youtuber i need some name tags in a boat Let's check it out with this random sheep. And yes, as you can see, it now becomes upside down. This is a strategy I saw from Moonba. And I think it's gonna work out well. Maybe also I should heal my bow. We don't want this thing to break. It costs 33 levels. That hurts. Let's get a four beacon beacon thing. First one will give me strength two, speed two, resistance two. Where am I gonna spawn all these withers? Is face it like so. And it's pretty fun. You can spawn the wither in this way by placing the wither skeleton skulls at the bottom and at the top. Then we can spawn all of the withers very easily. At the same time, we're ready with the dinner bone name tag. And now it's just a matter of killing 10 with us at the same time. Here we go. Spawn them all in. I think I'm already gonna put one of them as dinner bone. Because then I can easily see him. Let's just uh, get them to explode. Hello, guys. Holy sheesh. It's still pretty tough to see him. Okay. <laughs> I feel like my armor will break. Oh, wait. He's already down. Kill this guy. Yes. Can I do this? Oh, yeah, I got another one. Wait, this is a really good strategy because I can easily target him. Just look at this. I can tell him where his head is. <laughs> Just die, man. Dead. <laughs> Wait, I cannot hit you. There it is. Dead. Oh. Three with us to go. We're just about done with this. One more. He's having a seizure. Hello, my friend. And you are dead. That was easy. Killed 10 with us at the same time. That was actually pretty fun. Now it's a matter of crafting all the beacons. Lucky for me, I have a lot of glass and a lot of obsidian, so we should just be able to... Doom. And now there's only one thing left to do, and that is place... 
these 35 more beacons. Final one, bang! And now this is the biggest beacon in Minecraft Hardcore. Thanks for watching this video and goodbye.